Welcome back, everyone, to Old Road Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. As we are still looking at the early access version of uh, the 5.0 update, Ashes to Embers. Um, and at the time of this recording, the update for everyone will be launching on February 28th, 2024. But we got to talk about Rosewood Tinted Glasses. Whatever one's thoughts on Gloria Chase's philosophies were, what remained undeniable was the Rosewood Foundation's technological and industrial powers, or prowess. Oh, look at that. A woman who has had mass-produced implementations from common folk was no woman to balk at, and let of her take over. She has agreed to continue her work within moderated circumstances as such. Her assets are ours to utilize. Perhaps the chases are not all so bad. A research lab. I thought we wouldn't get something so great as that, but we did get a core on Abedin, and now in the land of the gentry. On the opposite end of the electorate is yet another land of nobility, Pleasantdale and the pleasant country that surrounds it. It's famed for its lavish decorum that lines the streets in the white birch society's infamous hunts and publishings. We must make haste in integrating it. Yes, please. Um, after that, I like more cores. We could go to war for the battlefields, but it looks like they're already fighting here, which is not ideal. Um, they're fighting a lot of different people, and if they do this, that means we need a giant army to beat them up. Um... The Great Stampede does will get eventually a lot of manpower. We've got quite a few divisions. We need to raise our conscription level too. So that is all things we've got to definitely start thinking about as we are going forward in this campaign. Um, support equipment, yeah, that'd be pretty nice to do. Doggos, um, anti-tank. I mean, that's always a given you have to do. But I want more cores. So let's see the spark blades. Get more compliance immediately. Ooh, I like that. Um, let's do a beneficiary or beneficial heresy. If indeed there is such a thing, the spectral cabal have shown us no ill will. Though the practices are odd, perhaps we must think about it before making any rash decisions. Absolutely. And what else do we want here? Land auction is coming along very nicely. Well, if that's the case, we're going to get some planes. Very, very nice planes. Um, as we are still trying to core more stuff here. Core, 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 core. Raise conscription level. Get ready. To, we get it. have a massive army uh, to fight off. The Great Stampede includes some more support equipment for our uh, infantry, which we'll have to continue using throughout the entire campaign, and then kind of go from there and see what happens. Right now we're missing manpower. Well, at least we were. We're missing infantry armor. It's not great, but we'll need even less once we get this these cities built. As we're trying to raise stability, 1% a week, which is not bad. Regarding uh, Chase's assistant, Manifest Saskatchewan, huh? What are you doing now? We're going to get this done. Six days? Well, too bad. And then we're going to come over here and do this. Yes, please. Continue expanding, even though these divisions themselves are really not that great. Um, we'll keep working on it. Beneficial. Heresy. That'd be nice. Power armor. Scavengers? Sure, why not? Uh, Alma, allow Samoset to dig. Stories of the Canadian occupation. Add a sad people. Long night. Ooh, that'd be pretty good. Boomtown ladies sing this song. The dandies. As she says, join the NCR. Good job for the American poison civilization. Understand. Oh, after this one. I like this one, but I like this idea here. Ephesians is not bad. War goals. Ooh, actually. They are not be able to, They are not... Oh, they did break over the... Well, they broke over the line. Oh, Battlefield. It, Battle Ford, I should say, is a frontline city. Hmm. Because even if we could take their territory, if we could limit how much... Space, how many tiles we have to defend? That'd be nice. But even if we were to defend up here, this is still a river. We still have to defend it here as well. Things we just gotta think about going into the future. So there we go. There's that. Uh, keep putting more of that. We're gonna need some better power armor as well. 140 is not bad, but I do want to get to a wasteland militia. Oh, did we lose Mr. Political Power? Oh, my bad. I should not have done that. Plans growth speed. Leader skill bonus. Um uh, that political power, is it really worth it? Probably not. But are we going to use that political power for later? Then it probably is. Of course, we want more compliance speed, too. But the compli but the growth. Head of the asylum. Yeah. You know what? Just going to grow. That gives us more stability, too. I like that. I like the compliance, though. Legacy of the Spark Blade. Though they may be raiders, the Sparkblades are master tacticians and great sportsmen. Given the opportunity, we may find use in elevating their status, or, if we feel so kind, perhaps promoting them to their own knightly order? Yes. So now we're going to start working on getting these um, support equipment done, because I want to throw them on our infantry. Uh, much ado about the Cabal. The Spectral Cabal has long since been a factor in the livelihood of the electorate. 
Driven by vanity and a strange sense of religious pride, the controversies are outnumbered by their mysteries. Between their legendary wolf god haunting the nightmares of those who frequent the Cabal's pools too frequently, and the disgustingly vain use of the Red Fern for personal gain, it wouldn't take too much to justify cracking down on the chapels and ousting them for good. On the other hand, however, their healing pools can be quite useful, and their party has been greatly popular for a reason. Perhaps we could go stand to gain favor by allowing them to continue operations? God did not put us on Earth to allow such horrors to go unpunished. Remove the spectral cabal. Starting compliance plus 10%. Better friends than foes. Ooh, I like the starting compliance and division recovery rate, but... It's better friends than foes. But we do what God demands. And you know what? We're going to start working on that anyways. There you go. Make up for that. Oh, order from Chef from Brotherhood. Encoded signals. Very nice. Still a little ahead of time there, so we're not going to do that just yet. Anything here we really want to do? Sure. Free repair. Why not? Next up is what? Major businesses. Electronics. Ooh. I always do this one, which is nice. Um, if it's equipment. All right. Go ahead and max it out. Why not? 1.45. It's not a ton, but it's some. And the cleanliness is second to godliness. The small of redundant may be considered iconic to some, but it jokes out the innocence of hardworking men and women all the same. It must be moderated and it must be kept clean, let the, lest the industrial giants fall victim to greed and avarice once again. So if that's the case, can we go to where the... Oh god. The Kingdom of Manitoba. Oh. That's a big group. State of Moose Jaw. Can we, like, go somewhere else to start being someone up and start getting more compliance and whatnot, maybe? Because they don't, they do share a border down here, but it's not big, so that'd be easy to defend, right? We got a lot of cavalry, so we gotta be ready for that. Um, we do have an airbase too, which is good. A fighter plane, nice. There you go. Train. You know, this is a plane. We'll try to train it, but that's all right. Let's try something here. All right. Um, infantry equipment. Uh, yeah, this was good to get. Special forces. Well, we'll be editing. Uh, well, we'll be editing both, really. There you go. Go ahead and deploy this. That's fine. Goodbye. Hmm. Because we have spec ops, but I don't need spec ops if we have a. Well, fade a, let's take a look see first. So, technology wise, tech levels, special forces. Yeah, there's no point using those special forces, so goodbye. The fate of the Strasbourg Spot Blades. The Stra Strasbourg Spock Blades have long since been the protectors of the Electorate's eastern borders. The Dunder and Estate did everything in the power to disenfranchise and choke them out of power, but that has ceased to be concerned as of late. Though their relations with Manitoba hasn't been the greatest, we both stand to benefit greatly from working together. Shall we seem as equals, or we shall remove them from this place? And the quest for peace, no loose ends may persevere. We shall plead Yorkton for the knighthood. Release Strasbourg's... That'd be cool to see what to have folks you, but... We're gonna go with that route. Imperial, eh? Oh, Strasbourg's right here. Interesting that they do have their own thing here. Our scavengers return triumphant. Fantastic, fantastic. And what do we got here? That's fine. Let's clean them out. In the meantime, uh, have we been able to improve this at all? Promote the node. Well, that'll be ideal. Um, experience. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So it doesn't seem like there's a big old rush to get down through here. Open to traders. Pleasantdale. More civvies, more arms workshops, that'd be good. Ooh, so here's this. W walling out the undesirables. Two levels of outposts will be built along our border with the Great Stampede. Now, is that the original border? Or is that everywhere else along the border as well? That's an interesting question to ask, actually. Uh, which one do we want? Regarding Chase's assistant, Hope is an artificial intelligence from before the Great War who ended up in the employ of the Chase family. It was in her vast treasure trove of knowledge that led to many of the horrors in the electorate, her watchful eye and guiding hand assisting in the return of wonders such as television and proper infrastructure. Her facility lies dormant under Pleasantdale, and she's willing to help us free of charge. Why don't we pay a visit? Why not? We'll go two and two. Got time for Good. And we want saws. We're going to need to really defend against some horses. Battle cop. Economies. Not bad. We're doing military signing bonuses, as you can see, because we need that manpower. We're def definitely, definitely, absolutely going to need that manpower. Great Stampede. Um, can I give you volunteers? I can send you some volunteers if I really wanted to. I'd rather see a stronger battle forward than a stronger... Uh, these guys. In all honesty. 
and this helps stave them off for a little while. The sun, the sun shines upon the Dundurn again. Oh, once again. For decades, the small cloud of Dundurn from the grace of God, our intervention, has allowed the smokestacks to be silenced and for the workers to return to their homes. They celebrate their night away with their families, and we are left with nothing else to do but watch the sunset. As for Sir Daniel Bodena, well, he, he watched the sunset by his lonesome self. To him, this was the greatest he had ever seen, for his enemies lay buried in his constituents' cheers name with glee. There could be no greater paradise. Fantastic. Now that's the case, I do want to go over here, but what do we need for economic advisors? Research speed would not be bad. This is actually really good. Laura Shrikey? Economic. These are all generic stuff. I mean, I wouldn't mind using them, but desperate designer. To win the raffle in Stoon is perhaps the worst news one can receive. No one has any illusions about the fate that befalls those dragged away to the aristocrats' feasts. And Loris' fate was all but sealed the moment her name was drawn. The only thing standing between her and her grisly end was an, a desperate plea. They couldn't eat her, not while she had so much more to offer in life. After all, no one could put guns together like she can, or so she claimed. And when chance brought her cries to Pierre's, Pierre's, Pierre's ears, and she was put to the test, it came true. Repairs, upgrades, and entirely new constructions of firearms are as fine as armory uh, salvage. So now Lois spends her days building custom arms for students' more influential citizens, knowing the day she fails to deliver a masterpiece is the day they take her down to the kitchens to fulfill her allotted end. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Nice. Keep building. Motors, vehicles, fighters. Hey! So at least we can see what's going on here. Lone Wolf. Well, I don't like that. But we have only one person here. What else do we, do we have? Commando? I prefer you. Hello? Yes? Thank you. Uh, that'd be inspirational to learn. We're going to help and do our best here. And maybe a little tiny bit more army speed in the end, too. Rapid deployment's good. Oh, we immediately start not winning. Uh, we're going to go with Marching Fire. Go here. Because these guys are completely in circle. That will just completely destroy them. Absolutely, completely destroy them. That's a giant board with a great stampede, so that's not good. Go, Knights, go. Oh, good job, guys. So what do they have on them? Just guys, huh? Because you guys are only 10 combos, which is not good enough yet. Can you beat up horses? Oh, they have armor on them too, huh? That's very worrisome, not going to lie. That's very, very worrisome for us. Keep the army. Dusk Knight. Oh, I didn't look at this guy. Argo never wanted to be a knight. Evander Eivig. Ewing. Town Defender. Well, these are the only unique one. Organization loss and moving. More max, max planning factor. So he never wanted to be a knight. Violence wasn't his idea of a future, but the pressures of his parents and of society gave out no out, and so he took up the life presented to him. Argo never wanted to go into exile, abandoning his home to never see it again. It was the last thing he could imagine, but the demands of the bureaucrats were law, and so he walked out of Manitoba and land with the rest of the lettermen. Argo never wanted to watch his brothers and sisters die in pointless deaths. They were a little link. He had left his lost life in the kingdom, but the violence of the electorals is insatiable, and it was hard enough to keep himself alive with threats on every side. Argo Bedlam was very much tired of what others want and what the world wants, so his sword now swings for his own desires alone, caring not for who leads Stoon, but what they can offer him. Um, division experience again, I like that. So I'm going to cancel you, because from here on out, we got to start working. Well, maybe I shouldn't have canceled that. I should have not canceled that. My bad. Reset. Go back. Special forces. We gotta start throwing that on there. Yeah, let's do it. Get him again. It's fine. Whatever. Guys, you're the only thing that can actually help him out here. At least grind up some army XP or something. The day no doves did sing. Sir Daniel Wadana returns home to his cottage. What he would find would change everything. The duel. To the state who holds allegiance to the electorate. We are men and women of wise and tongues, but we hold no words left for you and your kind. To this end, we issue the duel. If you so desire to bring pain, then we shall issue you some greater. You have one month, and then we march upon your den of inequity. Your people will do well to flee, and then we will not be fight a people unready. They may the best of us win. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's a giant border that we have with them. Um, hmm. Manifest Saskatchewan. The old facility is hardly, largely run down, thanks. Uh, in part from the occupation, but with hope as its custodian, and a continued willingness to see it continue operations, it would be a great benefit to the order to do as we please with the facility. 
Only so much can be restored with enough direction, we can repurpose it to whatever we like. More general production. We need our armaments. Ooh, the resources would be best, but we're actually okay on resources. And where we're at right now, if we can take these guys out, that'd be great. If we take out anybody else around us, we get more than enough resources anyways. And frankly, we could probably use more arms of production right now. So. Because we need that right now, immediately. Now I'm getting a little worried. Okay, then. Um, you're going to have to defend the front line here. And you're going to have to help hold, like, here or something. So that's good. Saws are good. Um, cam support would be good too. Keep grinding it, keep grinding it. And after that one. Oh, we are but men. How about Ephesians 6, 17? And then take the helmet of the salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Very good. We saw that was good. Flexible designs. Uh, manpower would be nice. We need more construction speed. Build, 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 build. In all honesty, we're probably going to need like forts here or something. Actually, you know what? We'll add to the forts already built once we do that one focus. It shouldn't take too long to do, but you never know. So this is going to be extremely risky. Can we do this? Well, you know what? Just here in case. Let's save. And if it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well, you know. Hmm... Oh, actually, you know what? It's easier to pile drive through at the center here. Probably. Time to get more organization. Three, two, pile one. What was once home, though? A pleasant Dale was secured in its horrors, yet the container destroyed. Daniel felt a growing sense of resolution creep up over uh, his back like goosebumps. After tra years trapped in Allen Hill's penitentiary, he felt like he was finally getting somewhere. This Knights of St. George had crawled out of the garbage bin of history like a phoenix, and he yearned for a good night like he used to have. So he returned home, too, with Daniel, where his cottage remained. His wife and his daughters would surely be expecting him, after all. When he arrived, he felt his breath quiet and his chest tight. It had been years. Would they ever even remember him? Would they care to? His thoughts were broken as the door opened. And there she was, just as beautiful as the day he had left her. Mary Ann stared back with a look of what he thought was misplaced horror, but not ever waver as he opened his mouth. He asked himself before he could string together a sentence. When he reached for her face, she took three steps back. It was then that she gave him the truth. She had sold him in his residence out to a pariah Hawkmoon in exchange for money to fund their children's future. At that moment, his heart shattered into a cacophony of glass shards, and tears fell from his visor like rapid fall. He thought it was true love. The solemn night, more political power, division, recovery rate, and breakthrough. But it was just another failure. Forsaken Knight. Ooh, just why Wargle's time. Ooh, I like that one. But you can get that one fast enough anyways. Political power recovery and breakthrough. We're here to lead. Despite what our previous, our wife said about us. Whatever. Ugh. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Alright, so we are over here now. Can we do anything here? Yes. Hopefully this doesn't bite us in the butt in the end. And honestly, it probably will. Oh, are you ta getting attacked? Nice. Please don't attack us. Please don't attack us yet. We're not ready for that type of uh, evil. Over the river. Hills fighter. Winter specialist. Very nice. Come on. You're not going to let him move. No, sir. What's wrong? Dumb. You. You're going to go all the way, boy. I'm glad we're at war, though. Do we do anything here? No? Okay, that's fine. Anything here? Reconnaissance. Decryption. Uh, experience gain, I like that. Max planning is good. Supply range, ooh, organization and attack. I've got to go with that. Organization and attack. Hey, good job. Here, Bach. Join the group. Join the party. Keep, keep that staying power up. Very nice. 
because I'm going to use all this army XP to help us buy uh, more army XP upgrades. Because we just need more experience and whatnot now. You need to go in there. Good. You know, with that in case, we can all hold. It's fine. Let you guys do this. See what they do. Because if anything, if they do nothing, we're going to go here then. Once we get over the river, that's, that'll be the most important thing. 127 versus 48. Um, let's see. Political power. I don't. I, I want to keep our cities. I want to keep churning out stuff right now. But we do want to make sure that we're doing all right here. Grind out that arm XP. Healing powder is good. Level one, at least for everything and everybody so far. And output, yes, more output, please. The outcasted brigade. Uh, well, the men and women of the Battleford Brigade fashion themselves mercenaries of a different cloth. Reform bandits and pirates hoping to earn the closest thing to an honest coin they can imagine. They fight not to survive as we did, but with a selfishness and greed lolling upon their snake tongues, they shall be destroyed the navy. Nary a second thought. Not navy, but nary. Grind it out, grind it out so we can... I mean, it's not much, but it's a little bit here. Uh, in all honesty, I'll probably want to beef up our in infantry first. This is terrifying. Holy crap. Please don't go to war with us anytime soon. Please, 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 please. We're trying to do whatever we can to make sure we can get bigger and stronger. Mm, God dang it. Uh, bro. They have almost no manpower, which is good to see. They don't have that many divisions, actually. We're going to go in immediately. How many more days until like go to war with us? We have no, no clue. Okay, you're gonna start forcing this attack here. Because we don't have time for this. You two go here, because you need to keep them at bay here. Oh, they're forcing the defense too, look at that. Crud. Oh! Okay, they had cab vultures. Interesting. Interesting. It's fine. Just let, do what we need to. Do what we need to. Day of infamy. Good. Well, not good, but good. Um, you gotta help out here. Grind for that XP. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it. Yeah, they're gonna just fight you until they die. Which is good for me. I mean, it's a militia group, so. I cast a brigade. Good. Uh, we want what? This one. Walling out the undesirables. The stampedes of the usuals are nothing more than rabble. A good wall along the southern border will do well to keep them at bay. God knows we need that. Good. Go here, here. Completely encircle them. Grind it out, grind it out. And then we're going to raise the conscription level next. Because we need to. I'm going to be lost. 148 versus 277. Not great. Not terrible, though. Don't get that. That's fine. Go, cab vultures. Go, go, go. Oh, we won here. Nice. Help them out. Help them out. Just grind, grind, grind. Go, 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 go. Loose jaw junction. It's fine. Wait, what? Hello? Bruh. Are you kidding me? They become a puppet of them. No, I'm going to redo this and see what we can do here. That's not cool. That's so not cool. We're surrounded by nothing but gigantic countries on both sides here. We should at least get something from that, right? So now we've got Moose Jaw under our hooves, and now we're going to destroy the, the resistance there. But now we demanded that the territory from Battleford and Lloyd's Ministry, as well as the Great Stampede Sea Territory, so following our ultimatum, uh, Ekaterina of Lord's Ministry, as well as a couple of the Great Stampede, has seen wisdom and related a message accepting our territorial demands. Stampede soldiers have withdrawn from the border and our own troops have rapidly moved to occupy the contested territory. While the situation remains tense on the border, from now war between our two countries has been averted. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. Fantastic. And I hope these guys do well. Can we actually send them uh, volunteers? Which probably won't do very well, but whatever. Um, actually, that means we don't need you then. We can shove you over here. We'll still send a letterman over here, too, because I would rather see these guys, like, hold them off as far as long as possible. You know what? No. I want to send an infantry division. 
because I've been slowly expanding what support companies they have had off screen and whatnot like that. Oh, the cow vultures have also ceded. Ter they all gave us the territory. Okay then. Well, was not expecting that. Marching fire is nice, and we'll grab this one too. Well, at least we got a river front for the most part over here. Um, oh god. Let's see. So, so basically, we built all the forts in the areas that we don't need them. Hey, everyone, about the followers of the apocalypse, please go ahead. Uh, they're pacifists, but they help us with our lands. Hmm, let them come in. That's fine. Just in case, just get there. Go. Good. Okay, so we have to set ourselves up. But like I said, we've been slowly increasing what we have. They're now 12 combat with, which is better. They got demo teams, uh, uh, anti-tank and chems on their line. But we are out of a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Ooh, another division, yes please. Oh, another two divisions, yes please. Very, very good. I hope we can hold them off here. Guys, we'll continue expanding what we need here. And yeah, uh, overall, that's not bad. It's not too bad, really. This is a scare package. We don't have enough political power for that, or I guess caps for that. So we're going to do this. Promote the node again, because we need more money. Because we currently get 74 caps in one. Not bad. Order St. George is looking pretty darn good. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. I forgot we did have planes here. We actually make it a pretty decent amount as well. But we're doing boys from the Battleford. The Battleford Brigade was never our friend, but they were never enemies, certainly. They were more civilized in true manner than the privateers to our north. But aside from that, they were good fighters. Sure, they fought. We'll offer a missive to any refugee seeking asylum so long as they were a service of vanguard against the Stampede. And then uh, equipping the army. The soldiers within a ranking need quality firearms. Luckily, we still have stock bus from the dungeon that we can pull from. And then we need maps. Or ooh, we need off map workshops. Dungeon's military and district complex was led by Pariah Hawk Moon in her younger years. It led them to victory against the Met Metis once and shall do so again if need be. So, if that's the case, um, I want fire teams on there and we're going to increase it as well again. And they're just fine on us. So. By throwing the anti-tank on there, that'll help us against the cavalry, because they do have armor on cavalry, so, in Old World Blues, which is not good for us. They do have recon. It doesn't look like they're, they're going to be extremely strong, but we're going to mobilize again. We're going to need more man We just need more manpower. Especially putting down these guys here. So, the plaza's looking all right. Can we core all this stuff eventually? It's only 83. It's not bad. Boys, oh, and we lost that 1,000 manpower immediately. Okay. Good to know. Because we use it for these guys. These guys are still, like, 10 combat with each is not ideal, but we'll see. We do have quite a few divisions, though. That's actually kind of pleasing. Looking better. Looking better already. We need some motorized vehicles. Um, uh, resistance is going up, and now they've gone to war with us. So we should probably stop training our ships, because even though they're not honestly that good, it'll be all right. So can we make an encirclement? You do well here. What is this war going to be like? I don't want to advance. Because these are guys are just infantry. Um, how much manpower do they have? 9 to 13. Well, we have 40, so we have like more than double than what they have. Could we actually do anything here? It looks like no. But if we were to be smart about this, can we do it better? You hold. You support the attack. Can we actually break over the river? You're gonna hold. I said no. Stop it. We might just do okay. You're both going that way, and you're gonna have to support the attack too. Looking okay. We actually pushed in. You know what? You keep them there. Because you're gonna go right here. You just have to be careful about their horses, because they do move very, very, very fast. So far, feeling alright about this. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll probably there, too. That'd be nice. Exploration for technology, that kind of sucks, we can't do that. Dr. Toboggan. Thank you, Dr. Toboggan. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, ooh, this would be good, too. More compliance would be nice. Let's wait just a little bit, because I want to make sure we get... We're going to get more territory here anyway, so... Siege of Hidden Valley, not bad. You know what, you're here anyways, must try. Is that possible? 55, 67... Oh! An encirclement of Hawk Moon Munitions. 
What about uh, Muravayov Entertainment? Uh, Muravayov Entertainment helped bring about the mass production TV into the electorate. It can bring about other wonders if we need it to as well. Oh no, they're attacking us. Vacuum tubes? Oh yes. You're gonna stop attacking. You're just gonna focus on defending. And you're not allowed to lose. So, there you go. Stop. You're still defending here, still attacking, that's fine, whatever. Slowly winning, it seems like. Mobilize the people. So, do we get corals on anything here eventually? We will become known as a Grand Duchy of Saskatchewan. Go against the giant. Which we kind of already are. It's the land of thieves and murderers. Save for the stampede, the western reaches of Saskatchewan have been home to a little else than raiders and sycophants. Those dredges who have dedicated their lives to feeding off whatever the CPF or the elector has spat out in their direction. We'll make an effort to scour the very soil of their influence, salting their history, and bringing the golden light of God upon their ill forgotten thoughts. Hey, look at that army XP. I like it. There's any more of this, though. You know, in the meantime, I'm going to go off and start on Oh, beautiful. Reformacy is just catch one of it. Ooh, if you get the nice, actually. I do want to increase this stuff too because the uh, power armor is like very, very important. So, uh, okay. Very nice, very nice. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Wing. I don't think we can do a generic attack. But are they out of manpower finally? Or they have, oh, they have been, oh no, they've been mobilizing. Well, it looks like I don't really want to risk this. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> um, do this. And all the weak points that you possibly can. You're gonna come in here. We're just gonna slowly go one tile at a time. Because I'd rather play it safe right now, because we don't have a lot of manpower. We got a decent amount, but we're also have a southern border we gotta focus on and look at too. Ooh. Can you not win here? That's not ideal. Or we can make our art lines a little weaker so they can be more tempted to attack us as well. This is, should be alright. Oh, that's three divisions, though. That's quite a few. Local workspaces. Nice. Extract maybe a little bit more. If you take this out, that'll destroy, hopefully, a lot of supplies. So maybe go to Big R. Big R. Aaron Kimball's been elected. Entertainment. Yes. More 50% more compliance. More speed, organization, and recovery rate. What's not to love? Let him move around a little bit. Because we're still waiting for these guys, too. Just consume that army XP. Well, they're not moving around. So we'll move around and make them do something. Blight of Woods. Hopefully have as, we need we get as much time as we possibly need for all this. Are they gonna move it out of here? No. Anyone here? What's on this cavalry? Because not all the cavalry are probably the same. No, I can't help out. You're just gonna do it stuff over there. It's Seven, seven, six. Nice. Help them out. Hey, okay, so we finally did it. Surprised they haven't tried to move out themselves. Do that there. Please, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another division. We love it. We're gonna need them thick. That's the way we like them. Ah, would you look at that? Delightful. 50, eh? Well, I do like more breakthrough and whatnot. What a shame. Return empty handed. We just do need to start thinking about increasing the size of these guys, too. Ah, beautiful. It's only one division. We've lost 300. We've killed off 600, though. Very good, very, very, very good. And to go against a giant. The greatest threat to Mongolia? No, to Manitoba comes from afar. The Great Stampede, a warring conglomeration of tribes and nomads alike, stares us down across a fog laden border as if to invite us to a war we likely would not win. Yet, even so, one thought echoes amongst our own. We would, would we truly be able to call ourselves gods devout if we did not try? Uh, would we? They have a lot of empty holes here. Like, why are they not moving around? I don't understand. But their folly will be our game.
Do we have spirit with planes? Yes. You know what? I don't think they have planes, so you do this anyways. You can do this and do that. There you go. Have fun with it. You guys move around. Great, 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 great. You're gonna go there. You're gonna send half of you guys here. Here, here, here. There you go. Deal with it. So. Alright then. We have to. Well, we have way more divisions in them, but still. Yes, please. Primitive radio, yes, yes. Uh, is there anywhere. Honestly, this would be best attack here. Uh, but we have more options here. So why did you do that? I don't understand. You do that. You do that. You do that. It would be easier to take this tile out and take out two divisions this way. And if we take out two more divisions, then we might be good and just do a full scale frontal attack. Look at that, PP. God, we love PP. Um, yeah, you guys, whatever. It is what it is. Ah, military right, command. Happiness. People. Nope. Damage garrisons. That wouldn't be bad. Oh, I, did, I chose that one last time before we faded and faded out. Ember. Nope, we're not going to get that person. Income would be nice. Oh, look, they start doing that stuff too. You know what? More soft attack? On a speaker. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. That's for our particular class here, so. It's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. Father established himself. Not bad. And it'll help out settlements. Free civvy. More monthly population. What's not to love? There you go. Once that division is destroyed, we're just going to do a general, generic attack and circle and destroy these guys too. Just go in. Just do that already. Good. Slowly our soldiers become better and better and better and better. Okay, that's not good. The Menace Congress demands territory. Uh, well, we got 10 days. Honestly, I'm okay with giving that up as long as we can continue beating the crap out of the Great Stampede. Seems like we wanted to go to Menace Congress too, huh? Well, looks like we gotta fight this early. Go ahead. Maybe we should go around them. To go against a giant and Matthew 5 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called sons of God. Yes, they will be. So lose all those tiles. We can come back for it later. Do we really need these tiles too much? No. You know what? Like I clicked the button. Oh, are you kidding me? So I did click the button, but did not go. So I'll see you when we get that done after we read about uh, the Nightkin. The Nightkin was destined for one or two things, recovery or consumption. It's up to us to ensure Toboggan has the resources to make either happen. So, okay, we gave him basically Moose Jaw. You're welcome. Um, We got some manpower back from that, which is good. We'll and we'll deal with them later, probably. Uh, but in the meantime, we're still beating the crap out of these guys. Great Stampede? Well, they've got up to seven divisions left. We're doing very, very well. Very pleased with how this has turned out so far. I didn't think we'd actually be able to take these guys on, because usually they're very tough. The horses can be very tough to take out in Old World Blues if you don't know what you're doing. Um, especially as I discovered the first time playing through this. So, uh, However, heavy special forces? Yes, please. That would be fantastic. And I'll continue with outside battalions as well. Dedicated equipment? Yes, please. And you can see, we've got another encirclement. Ooh, we were defeated there, but whatever. It's fine. Matthew 5-9. And the Kingdom of Manitoba wants us to join them. Join the Royal Accord. How do we respond? I'd like us to join the Royal Accord. Okay, what? We are the Royal Accord. They're the Royal Congress. Um. Uh, wait, what? Oh, we just joined them. We're the Grand Duchy of Saskatchewan now. Uh, I'd like us to join the Royal Accord. We work alone. 
Well, I just want to form Saskatchewan. That's what I really care about, civilization. Uh... Hmm. I mean, it makes sense for us to join the... Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Because we were from this area originally, right? Yeah, for we leave Yorkton, so us ally together, it makes sense. You know, I wouldn't mind killing them off too, but, you know, whatever. We'll join them for now. Welcome home. Unless we want to leave, it's fine too. Now this is our war. We'll do them the way we want to. For who we are, but men. We had like rats under the eyes of Electra for many years. It's easy to think, with us now in command of these lands, that we are above such minor idlings as pray and worship, but in the end, we're, we are but men playing saints. Our faith is no falsities, however. Just as God plays upon this earth, it follows us and sure as will be enacted. So if we want to leave, we can leave too, so. Uh, we want to make sure we get all of Saskatchewan. Go ahead. Help them out. And help them out by killing them. Uh, Blood Woods, no, we're good. Hope you lose. Um, because if you do, then we need to become grand leader of this. So, here we are. Not bad. Royal Accord's not bad. Expanse of the Unknown Border. Hmm. I feel like I should want to come back to this. Oh, we don't want that. We want this. Whee! There you go, there you go, there you go. Go and train. Not bad. Not bad at all. Southern Alberta, but we are men. No. Don't make me come kill you. Radio Freedom. A strange broadcast championed by the deranged Nike and its infiltrated raiders around the nation. Now he spouts misshapen American propaganda as though it was their own dogma. His own dogma. It's just the Nikens. They were destined for... for uh, they were destined for... Two things, recovery or consumption. It's up to us to ensure Toboggan has his resources to make sure it either happens. Deeper than the asylum, deeper than Birch Hills. Who knows what really goes on? Only Toboggan knew. Hello, what are you doing? The Iron Confederacy. Well, you can do that, and you'll probably win. But I'm not going to help you out. Dandy Mercs. And a few more plain things. Oh, yes please, that'd be very nice. Followers, basic training. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. I mean, no prospectors, not bad. Uh, far sun. We are butt men. We're ready to freedom. We got all these things to do down here. Getting back in cannibalism. Hark, the city can be a more than a den of inequity. Freedom and God shall ride side by side and prevail against the dark misgivings of forsaking gullets. That would be a good thing to have. Other projects, very nice. We'll head to town, we'll do this one too. Ready to freedom. So that's the night king. Put down the megalomaniac. Cooperate with general freedom. Load order about student freedom boob. Does that fire this one? Freedom for all. Well, let's keep going for now. We're going to cut back on cannibalism, and then we're going to do du the Duck Lake Massacre. The tribes of the Duck Lake Massacre are of the old blood. We want to remove cannibalism from this country for good. We must tear it out from the heart. So can we become can Saskatchewan? I want to become Saskatchewan. We're going to use that one definitely right now. Um, organization relations, no. Dundurn. El Stuno. Promoto. Begin Rauto. There you go. Oh, we have 86. Look at that. That's fantastic. No, we need more, though. Uh, Ghost Camel Survivalists. Chief of these guys. You know, we're doing that anyways. Why not? Academic Advisors. Um, you know what? Dr. Toboggan, you can come here. Oh, now you defend man territory. Okay, that's it, then. Wait, what happened here? How did Keenan Manitoba get that? Okay, then.
Dr. Toboggan's mission? Sh Dr. Shane Toboggan has done his best to abide by his people and the rule of the dandies. Uh, though it's certainly show cracks as of late. What was once a mission to save his people from a crippling stealth boy addiction and to find a new source of FEV has now become something beyond his wildest nightmares. The dandies threaten the lives of his people and do not comply with one demand, but that singular demand already carries a terrible price that isn't much better. They wanted him to discover a way to soften the tissue of a mutant so that they could somehow use the FEV to make more mutants, soften them up, and use them as exotic deaders for the cannibal parties. The prospect was insane, but Toboggan had little wiggle room with a pressure arm. He knew that they had killed him as people would stand no chance and have to play ball, at least for now. For now? Another research slot? Okay. Clean water, clean ideals. It's often been said that those who control the water control the hearts and minds of people. After all, it is the foundation of any human existence. Let us bring the people water. When they have had a taste, they will accept no other authority. And Pleasantdale, a place where you can leave it all behind. Pleasantdale is a city where one can frolic without issue, and so they say. It may have no standing military, but as science is dark and its monsters great, let us appraise them appropriately. So, I think we'll end it there for today, and in the next episode, uh, we will uh, probably finish off the campaign, finish off all of the focuses for Stoon, or also known as the Grand Duchy of Saskatchewan now. Even though we don't get cores on Saskatchewan, which kind of makes me sad. But hey, there'll be one more episode of that in this one, and then we'll move on to another campaign. If you enjoyed this video, though, or this episode, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, and as a reminder, at the time of this recording, the full update for everybody will be released on February 28th, 2024. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.